the first feature that I'm going to talk through today is Yesware's email tracking. So when you open up a new Compose window after installing Yesware into your Gmail, you'll see some additional icons in the bottom of your Compose window. The tracking icon up here is going to have a blue check mark next to it if you've enabled email tracking as the default setting. If for any reason you want to turn email tracking off for a certain email, you can just click on this checkbox and then this email will be sent without that tracking pixel. Otherwise, this should be checked by default and every email you send will include a tracking pixel. Once it is opened by the recipient, that tracking pixel, pixel will be fired and you'll be able to see that someone has opened your email. So I'm going to send a test email just to show you where you're able to see the tracking notifications in your inbox. So you'll notice that the composition of a new email is going to be very much the same as you're used to doing prior to installing Yesware. The only difference, again, is going to be that you need to have this track box checked. You'll then click on the regular send button. And then that email will be sent with that tracking pixel. Now, once that email is opened by the recipient, you'll receive a tracking notification up in the activity feed in your top Yesware toolbar. The number in this little red dot here indicates how many new email opens you have since the last time you opened this activity feed. Clicking on this is going to expand that activity feed. You're going to be able to see all of your opens by date. You'll then be able to click into a particular email open and see historic opens for that same email. In addition to viewing email opens in your activity feed up here, you're also able to view open information within a conversation in your inbox. So you can see them both in the sent folder. If you were to click into your sent folder, every email that you've sent with tracking will have this small blue eyeball next to it. This indicates that the email was sent with a tracking pixel. And if you hover over it, it will actually tell you when the last open occurred. It will also tell you how many total opens there are on that email. Then if you click into a conversation or an th email thread, you're also able to see that, so it doesn't just have to be in your sent folder. It can be anywhere that you have a back and forth exchange that has email tracking included. And again, hovering over that blue eyeball icon will tell you the last open on that email. Now, in addition to tracking when a recipient opens your email, Yesware also gives you the ability to track when a recipient clicks on a link. So if you're interested in tracking link clicks, you'll just want to make sure in that preferences menu that you have track clicks or track links enabled in the tracking section. Now, assuming you have that turned on, every email that you send with a hyperlinked URL will have link click tracking. So as an example here, If I were to send out a link to Yesware's website, all that I need to do in order to ensure that this has click tracking enabled is highlight this. Click on the insert link icon in the lower toolbar. That will hyperlink that URL. I'll then click send. And then every time that link is clicked by a recipient, I'm going to receive a notification in that same activity toolbar up here. Now, link clicks are going to look a little bit different in this activity dropdown. So any email opens are going to be identified by an envelope icon in a green circle. Link clicks are going to be a blue circle and it will have a little link icon within it. Now, if I click on this, I'll be able to see that the email that I sent was opened and then also the link was clicked. So it will both tell you what link was clicked. So let's say you had multiple links in your email. Yes, we're going to tell you which of those links was actually clicked. And then it will tell you when. 
The last tracking feature that Yesware offers is attachment tracking. This feature allows you to see when a recipient clicks on an attachment that you've included on an email. So to use attachment tracking, you'll locate the blue paperclip icon in the lower Yesware toolbar within the Compose window. If you are interested in seeing tracking information on an attachment, you'll just want to make sure you're clicking Yesware's paperclip icon and not the Gmail paperclip icon. So they look quite similar, but Yesware's is going to be in blue and it will be in this top section of the toolbar here. So clicking this will allow you to browse your own computer and find the document that you want to attach. You'll then see two options. The first is whether or not you want recipients to be able to download this attachment. Now, if they are able to download the attachment, you'll only receive tracking information prior to their download. Once they download the document and it then resides on their computer, Yesware will no longer be able to provide any tracking information on it. So if you're interested in tracking every single time that document is accessed, you'll just want to prevent download, so you'll want to leave this unchecked. And then the next option is whether or not you want the viewer to enter their name in order to access the presentation. And this will give you information um, as to whether or not the recipient is sharing the attachment. So if they've forwarded along, the recipient who's accessing it that wasn't the initial recipient will then have to enter their name as well. So you'll be able to see more detailed reporting on that attachment. From here, Yesware will convert this attachment into a tracked attachment. It will then be sent looking like a regular attachment and you'll be able to receive information once it is opened. Any attachment tracking information is also going to appear in that same activity feed. And tracked attachments are going to be indicated by an orange icon, so you'll see right here. They'll also tell you when the attachment was opened, how many different people have viewed it, and then how many total views there are. It will also put together an average viewing time, so you'll be able to see how long the recipients are spending on a certain attachment. If you click on the attachment analytics section, you'll also be able to see more detailed reporting, such as how long they spent on each page of the attachment. So if that's important to you, this is a great way to see who's engaging with it and also how they're engaging with it. So you'll be able to see engagement by page if you're sending a multiple page document. And then up here, if you had required recipients to enter their name, you would be able to see each unique person who had viewed that attachment.